this video we're going to create a dynamic worksheet. In the last video I set this up where we created the simulation of upper and lower sum areas to understand the integral. And of course, you know, there are all kinds of features you can add here. But our goal here is to share this with the GeoGebra community. So the first thing you might want to do, and what you want to think about, is the idea that um, <coughs> excuse me. Before you export this or share it, you might want to hide your algebra view or not, but you do want to do that before you share it to the community. The next thing to think about is reducing the window size so that uh, when people upload your worksheet, they have room for other things to look at, um, or even when they're browsing, because we don't want this to take up the whole screen. We want to have room for questions and other instructions. So you might want to drag everything into a certain area so it's condensed, and then um, adjust, oops, adjust the window size here by clicking and dragging. You'll notice that your icon changes down here so you can resize the window. And you want to make it as small as possible so that you can reduce what is being uploaded. Once you have it ready, you click File and Share. It'll then go to GeoGebra Tube and it goes up here to 50% and stops and now you need to enter some information for students. If it's your first time uploading, you'll have to create an account or log in uh, with your password in order to, to upload and share. So first, information for students, right? What is this about? Um, and of course, that's something they'll want to know as they're learning your concept. So here you might say something like, play with the slider to understand the concept of an integral. It shows you a little preview. Here you can add features if you want to show a toolbar or not, show the input bar so they can add equations, or show the menu bar so they can adjust things that you've set up. Here you want to add questions for them to think about, and there's all kinds of options. Obviously you can bold your text, italicize it, add equations or links. Um, but you might want to think about um, what oops, what do you notice about the difference between the upper and lower sum as n increases a question about right how the upper and lower sum areas approach the integral value as you increase the number of rectangles. Click continue and it uploads further, 70%, but now we want to enter in information for other users and teachers. For example, the title. Here, this is a test of uploading of a dynamic worksheet. And describe, of course, what you have, testing dynamic worksheets, and then you want to talk about your target group right here, and that's, I guess, challenging. I think they should adjust this a little bit so you can select multiple groups. And of course some tags, I suggest your username and the content that's covered in the video. So here integral test dynamic worksheet. Okay. And click save. And then this is what the community sees, right? It says who it's you know who it's created by, which is me. What it, what type of material is it? Here's the tags, language, target group. People can comment on it. They can they can vote on it. They can download it. They can embed it in their website, which we'll cover in another video. Share the link. You can have a collection of different worksheets that you like, and so forth. Now let's just click this to see um, what the community might look at. So go to student worksheet. So notice this is this is where the window size matters. The window is, is all online now, they don't need to install GeoGebra. Here's what the student will see, and here's the question I asked, and here is the information for them. All right, so they can play with this. And again, what's nice is they can move these things around, they can delete stuff here, but you can adjust that of course. Um, which is I guess I should have thought about that before I did this. You don't want to be able to delete those things, but here it's a very basic setup, and you can adjust this so they can't delete things, which we'll cover in another video. Anyway, um, that's the basic idea. Of course, students can also download off of this, and that's what they'll cover in the next video. Thanks.